Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Elmer Kumi Trent. Today we're going to paint some oysters, or mollusks, or whatever you want to call them. Um, I love oysters, I love to eat oysters, and I think they're really pretty to paint and have display for, a, you know, on your walls if you have a beach house. Well, not everybody has a beach house, but live near the ocean, or a beach town, or even for a card, um, just decor if you like beach decor. So let's get started. Okay, to start, just go over supplies again. I have uh, pieces of Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper here. Um, it was a, a 10 by 14. Yes, and I took off um, a little bit, like three inches off. So I just have like this nice square size. And I have my paints here in my palette. I'll be going over the colors as I use them. Um, I have some mixed up already. I have my paper towel, my various brushes, my water up here, and that's that. So what I did just to start was just draw these like, you know, if you can draw an egg shape, but kind of like as a top, as you go up to the top, it's just pointy. So that's basically the shape of a muscle. And then the interior is going to be a little bit smaller. I'll just draw this in. It's, like, you're gonna, it's kind of look like a cone on the top, but it's going to be smaller from the inside. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to do the outside first, which is going to be mostly grays, blacks, and grays. I'm going to grab, uh, just grab my Grumbacker number 10 brush. I'll get some water on it. And I'm just going to grab some black paint, very loose, so it's gray. See, I'm going to dab it on my paper towel. And I'm just going to go and start painting in the outer edge of the muscle, as you see here. I might leave some really pale tones down below here. But I'm just going to paint the outer edge that I'm working with. Very faint, so and then over in here, same thing. This is not really going to be a wet on wet, it's going to be not concentrated painting, but you know, the beginning parts of this painting obviously, the paint is wet, but we're not going to do this blending in like we did before. Some of it will be in the inside of the oyster shell. So I'm just going to wash in some paint color, gray tones. You can add a little blue to it if it's looking too brown, which I'm going to just do. So now it's like a blue tone, that gray. And I'm just washing in a color. And it's getting too dark, so I'm going to take out some of that paint. It's still too dark. Washing off the water on my brush and then washing. There we go. I want it fairly light because we're going to build upon different layers. Well, that outside layer is drying from the three um, muscles. I'm going to go in and start working on the interior. So I've grabbed some blue. This is a combination of ultramarine and some turquoise, maybe a touch of indigo. But you know, play around with your blues. And I'm just going to go fill in, not touching this part in the interior with some blues. You can make this more gray if you want. I'm just making it a little brighter. And you can go in and add some gray, gray tones. Like I just, and this is where you could use wet on wet. Or you just go add some more concentrated aqua up top. It depends on how bright you want this muscles to look. Go and add some lime green. It doesn't have to be like a serious looking muscle. It's actually more fun if it's not. And I'm blending in the middle here. Throw in a little purple. I'm 
I keep this space in the middle fairly white. Again, I'm going to grab some of the turquoise and some ultramarine and mix those together. A little more concentrated turquoise and then some cobalt. So then you put the cobalt there. So it's kind of bright. Can go in and add a little gray. Just move around like that. So and then we're going to switch on to the next one. Maybe you want to change this blue up a little more. Add some ultramarine with a touch of indigo. We're playing around with the interior. You can still have the turquoise in there too, just not as dominant. We're going to leave some white space. Go down below and add a little green if you want. Blend into that. The last one we can add a little, put some water down in that interior. Can add a little purple. And some more ultramarine. If you want it a little darker. Not completely, this part is wet and wet. The purple down here. Take some ultramarine. We're not going to fill this whole thing in, we're just going to leave again some of that white space. See the difference in the tones of the three. We can add in a little yellow, maybe a touch of raw umber, tone this yellow down. Okay, go back in and add some green in here. dark blue up in here. Take that same blue. I can add some of that turquoise over in here. Oops. It's fairly bright. So I'm going to take some of that away. going to add a little black area right here and then blend up the blue I'm adding ultramarine again and some turquoise so I've got kind of turquoise in all three of them you want to kind of have somewhat of coordination one color that's in all three of them and that would be the turquoise and you can have different varieties of the color in them, like the green and the more yellow with the purple in that one. But you want to have more turquoise. So going back on the outside part now, I'm going to grab some of my Mars Black. If you can see that. It's like a Mars Black. There we go. I'm going to dab it on my paper towel. I'm just going to go on the edges and touch the top, the tip of it, and just make some lines and shading still fairly light at this point on the outside edge you can see that you can put some lines in it and this oyster shell is a very jagged 
they're not smooth so you can show that by painting that way don't paint smooth very jaggedy see it's one of my favorite things to eat not everybody likes them now I feel like this is too much on the outside so I'm going to add some more blue that we did before go in a little more so I feel like the shell is a little too wide and I want it thin The edges of the oyster should be a little thinner than they are. So I'm pushing out that middle part. Okay. And same thing with this one. So we're going to go in and push out the middle part a little more. So that's why I paint intuitively. I paint as I go and I say, oh, that looks just a little too wide and not pretty and not the way I want it to do. Just adding the blue, pushing it out more. I feel like that edge was just too wide. And same thing with the last one. And the top part is no big deal. It's the sides. They were just getting too wide. This one's not so bad. Down the bottom it is. There. A little better. Again, so we're going to go back in with the grays and just hit, just touching it. If it gets a little dark, it's no big deal. You can just water it down. We're putting in some shadow. You can put it close to it too. Like a little white halo next to the interior. Fill it in. I'm just going to play around with this. Look at some pictures of um, muscles online. And again, it's like your interpretation of the muscle. I'm not really looking at a picture, I'm just remembering how I like them. So obviously, it's not super realistic. I'm just filling in the outside. That's a little dark so I'm going to water it down. I'm going to put a little blue tones in here. Yeah, That black is, that gray is looking a little too brown. I'm going to add a little blue hue. So here I am doing what I, what I wasn't doing it before but now I'm doing it. And when you do that you have to wait for it to dry so Either you're drying it with a tool or you're letting it dry naturally. Okay, again, I'm just adding in some darker tones, blacks and grays, the edges. Might dab a little dark black here and there. I could even dab some other color in there, like a green on the edge. playing around. Again with the, the shell here, I'm going to take the tip of my brush and throw in some lines. It's a little too dark so I'm going to wash it out. But I'm putting in some lines for the shell. As you see here. Dabbing in different tones. There's some blue, some black, some gray. Just to get my muscle how I want it to look. And these are so pretty if they're framed. If you have a beach house or a friend who has a beach house or a friend who loves the beach or family member. It's a great gift, you know, you could do it for a birthday card 
whatever people like the muscles I'm putting in some more blue as I'm going as I say I like to paint as I go so then I'll add some of that blue to the gray I'll put that in here keep switching back and forth between the different muscles adding in tones where I feel like they need it but it's so simple painting this just want the white edge there next to the interior just put some little lines up here oops that's a little too dark so I'll take that off wash off my brush and soak it up and I'm going to add some blue to my gray, make it more blue-gray, get that tone in there. Trying to keep that white halo next to the interior. Adding in some more deeper tones. But you really get the understanding that they look like muscles. Even though they're not perfect, they're cute. I'm going to add a deeper tone up in here of the purple and the blue and then down below. And we'll put a little purple down in here and we'll move down, down here. Again, I'm adding the three different colors in each one of them so they kind of coordinate. Get some more turquoise up on here like so and here Put some turquoise in there so they kind of coordinate and you know looking it over I might add some like I said another couple little areas where the black is more predominant just a touch of it on the edges You're just giving a hint. You're not going to swipe a ton of black in there. And there you have it. Oysters. <laughs> Pretty simple tutorial for our Wednesday. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please, if you do, like, share, and subscribe. It just helps my channel. And I thank you so much for stopping by. Have a fantastic day.